this is another part of Jesus Jamie and the Journey. Uh, welcome. This is called Peace and Change. Romans 10, 15, and how shall they preach except they have been sent? Except that they be sent. As it is, writ as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel peace. See my feet? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and bring glad tidings of good things. I truly, really believe that I am a messenger from the Lord, as all Christians are, for peace, faith, hope, and love. The experiences that I share are the truth, and I lie not in Christ Jesus. I know when I am sent home, sent somewhere, and again, I go by the pool from within. No, I may not understand what, but I do understand that stepping out in faith when the circumstances don't look good is the way of God. We never... We never know the capabilities that God has given us until we take a step forward and say, Here I am, send me. Change is a freedom to the soul, to the intellect, to the heart, to the mind. It brings joy if it is taken with the right attitude. God always knows what we need to be changed. The only thing I could ever do was to pray and ask God to create in me a clean heart, as David did in Psalms 51. Once I ask God this, I have to believe that he has my best interests at heart and he will never change. Everything about him and his own timing, I am glad that I don't know the future because I would never have the chance to learn from my mistakes. And therefore, I wouldn't be what God created me to be. Remember the God who created you, not the God that you created. That is the way... That is the easy way out. Like the saying goes, no pain, no gain, right? There was a change that took place in my life, and still to this day, I have no understanding of why God allowed it to happen or why he wanted this change, and it was my dancing. It was on July 5th. Um, it was my one-year anniversary, or today is July 5th, 1997. This is when this was written. There was a crowd full of witnesses who saw it, and some later on just thought I was nuts. Man, I can remember it like it was yesterday, so beautiful and peaceful. It was. I was at work, and it was around 11 o'clock. I was in one of those not knowing states of, where am I supposed to go? What should I do? I, I had too much energy, energy to go home and lie down, so I went to the, the shark club to go dancing. When I walked into the club with a friend, I had my paper and pen with me because sometimes the music would just lull me and I would write. As I walked into the club, I saw that the floor was full, so I said a prayer, ordered a cup of coffee, because as soon as they saw me, the bartenders put on the coffee. The floor was, and after I turned around and I saw that my prayer was answered, the floor was clear. As if I hadn't a mind of my own, the music was playing, my body started swaying, and before I knew it, I was on the floor, minding my own business. Now we'll come back to the second part. 